before boat season is completely over, Abby and I thought we'd have some fun on the river. Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. Amelia's taking a nap and Popeye's battening down the hatches. We're the RC Sailors. Welcome to our RC family. Today, we're gonna have some fun on the river with this bright red boat. This should be crazy fast, although it is a brushed setup, which means we're keeping the price tag pretty low. We stumbled across this and thought this would be a good opportunity to finally drive something on the river. You know, this is probably the closest body of water we have to us, and we rarely do anything here. Well, this is a big enough and bright enough boat that we shouldn't lose it unless something would fail on the boat. That would be the only way we would lose this, I think. So uh, without further ado, I think we should just slap this in the water and see how it does. If you're interested in this boat, which I like everything about it so far, we'll have it linked in the description box below. Our setup came with two batteries, although I only had time to charge one. And I guess before we slap this in the water, I want you guys to see that it does have a double layer of protection to keep water out. And then I love this locking and unlocking mechanism here. Once you get them all in the unlock position, this lifts up and we have a foam seal. There's where our battery goes and it's offset because this has a self-writing feature. So I'll do my best to test that today. Although I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous to be driving this in the river. Let's have fun. We test and self riding first. Yeah, tell them about the beeping. It's just beeping and it's gonna beep until it makes connection with water. And there it goes. I don't know if you heard that, but it made a little tune and it means it's bounded or binded. Self bound. Test first. Self riding test. There it goes. Perfect. This will be interesting to see how it does on the river. We've taken a boat out here one time, but I don't think we filmed it. It survived. It was the very first barbed wire we bought by, by a Venom. We're testing it, making sure it's working. Right. Before we go out in the river. I'm excited. I'm excited to just run a boat on the river. And this is actually, look how bright red it is. It's easy to see. I like it. There's full throttle. Look at that log. Don't want to hit the log today because my <laughs> boat could end up drifting away. <laughs> yeah, and if we lose it, by the time we go get something to retrieve it, it's going to be long gone. So. What a cool ramp that would be, though. do you think? <laughs> yeah, this log. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm getting bogged down with something. It definitely feels like I am. It's getting hard to steer one way. I might have got into some fishing line or something. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's, a, there's leaf. a leaf. There's a leaf on it. Oh, look at all the little fish under me. Tons of them. <laughs> okay, I am going to try to go in reverse and get that leaf off of my rudder. If that doesn't work, then I will take it into the dock. But I think I just chopped yeah, it up. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Awesome. Okay, let's Good keep job. going. Let's go out a little bit farther. I don't have unlimited range on this or anything, but I can see the water cool system working. I see the water shooting out of the side. It's probably hard for you guys to see at that distance. Look at it though, hopping along the waves. Now it's on the other side. I'll go by the, this, this time, and I want you to look for that water shooting out of the side of the boat. It's an actual water-cooled system. Look at that, can you see it? I can see it really well, that angle. Mm -hmm. So I want you guys to guess what drone do you think is in the air, getting the drone shots. Isn't that awesome? We'll have the drone linked in the description box below. Kind of a surprise. You need to just check it out. But I want to hear from you uh, in the comments. Let us know what drone you think it is and tell us if you were right just based on like the quality of the drone and how it is doing. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Bounced off of it. Okay, Abby, I think it's your turn to drive this since I hit the log. Awesome. All right, Abby is at the controls. Let's do this. I feel like if anybody's going to lose this boat, <laughs> it'll be me. You think so? <laughs> Sometimes I have bad luck. Wow, for September, it is hot today. It's super hot. Ooh. I'm sweating like crazy. It is very hot. 
Well, this is a really good boat. It's this performing. This is fun because we're getting the jumps with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Current. We usually don't get that with the little ponds that we run on and even sometimes the lakes. You guys check it out, all of you Ashland people. There are the bridges. We're just right here at the waterfront. This is a good boat. It is I'm a good really boat. I'm really surprised that it's able to keep up just fine with the current. I'm not. Granted, I'm not we're surprised. not like out in the middle of the river, but still. Nah, it could keep up with it. It doesn't flow Little that fast. Just jumped up yeah? In front of us. yeah, that's cool. Yeah, there's like a ton of minnows right here in front of us. Let's see if I can drive the boat over here. Slow. Okay. Right here in front of the log. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can see oh a ton goodness. of them. Wow. Oh my god. That's cool. I got a leaf. I thought it was feeling bogged. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah. When you go backwards, it just chops the leaf. That's up. awesome. Look at them all yeah, right there. A ton. Just a ton. I don't know if you guys can see that. Tons. Whoa, super cool. There's some dragonflies. Very cool. This log has been in the water for a long time, hasn't it? It was. You think like it's almost it. petrified a little bit? You know. I'm sitting here wondering when they're going to get rid of that because I'm guessing no one can use the boat, nah, boat ramp right now. Nah, it's not that heavy. With a boat, you can just kind of bump that out of the way. Shut not up. our boat. Or yeah. there's room to go around too right there. For small little bass boats. I'm sure it hasn't been here that long. I'm just saying it's been in the water for a while. It it's is so, so hot. I can't believe it's like mid-September. It feels like summer. It still feels yeah, like... I was looking at pictures and this time last year I was like eight months pregnant and uh, wearing long sleeves. <gasps> oh, no. oh no, okay, so forward back, forward back. A little bit, you gotta time it right. You don't need to steer it, just just throttle. Just forward back, forward back. <clears throat> you gotta time it right. Don't juice it that much. Just let it stop, stop. And now forward back, forward back. There you go. You were just getting too excited. I guess. So when that happens, it's not about full throttle. It's about quick little bursts back and forth of your juice. And that was a good thing that Abby, Abby flipped it over there because we got to show you guys, I guess you might, if you bought this, you might think that was happening. Like, oh wow, it doesn't sell right. But it's just like, give it a little back, forward, back, forward, just just like that. And that's enough to rock it over. It's a, you gotta get a rocking motion going. Well, some boats, you just have to give it direction and throttle. Yeah, but this some one's- Some of them, you just have to go back and forth on the direction. Not so quite powerful enough. Different. And the wind has picked up a lot yeah. too. So how's that drone shot looking? Should be awesome. It's so much fun to mix drones and boats. Donuts! River donuts! River donuts! Now, Ohio River donuts sound kind of nasty. <laughs> if you guys don't know, the Ohio River is not known to be the cleanest of all bodies of water. Um, I do want to point out that this boat does come with a boat stand. It's just one of those little plastic ones that you assemble. And it also comes with a spare battery, as I said. I'm guessing that, is that a removable nose? Yeah, yeah, so the black nose that it's got on there is a rubber nose. And because we're in a new spot with these rocks here on the edge and stuff, I wanted to put that protector on the front so if we were going full throttle and hit some rocks, we wouldn't crack our hull. And that's what that's designed for. Very, very easy installation, and it just pops right off. And a quick shot too here, we haven't even showed you guys the transmitter for this. It's a nice, pistol grip style transmitter, which I prefer with a boat. I always like when they label the transmitters. Transmitter. <laughs> uh, kind of goofy, but you Makes know, this happy. is not bad. So Altair Aerial. We'll have a link in the description box below. The transmitter has trim functions and everything that you would expect on it. And this is a very capable boat. We're getting some wind and some choppy waters and it's skimming right along. It's all staying cool. When our battery gets low, we have a low battery alarm and it comes with two batteries. Also, this is sold on Amazon. A lot of you guys just prefer the trustworthiness of Amazon. Look, I just went under because uh, so the, the water- Is that your shot, low battery? Yeah, the water shot me up and then boom, went down under. <laughs> well, so bring it in. Perfect timing. Are you gonna do a uh, water test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's end the video the right way and see how much water we took on. All right, we're coming in. I'm going slow on purpose. All right, we'll see. I'm gonna stay right here. 
<laughs> I don't want to fall. That's steep. So the beep comes from the transmitter. Yeah, that's nice that it beeps from the transmitter. So there's no way you could miss the low battery warning. Now that went full under. Fully submerged, and we started the video with it. Uh, we did the flip, the flip test. I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll see. I'll be impressed if this has very little water in it. I like this to be one solid shot yep. so you guys know uh, we're not cutting anything out or hiding this. So very little water there. I like how this is, I like the locking mechanism here. It's really nice. Yeah. And let's see. Oh, very little water. Just some drops. Just I a see just a little, little bit here. Hold it upside down. Almost nothing. There you go. Just that much. <laughs> yeah, that might have been from the body of the boat. Well, this gets two solid thumbs up from me. We'll have a link in the description box below. It's not too late to buy a boat and enjoy the end of boat season, you guys. Stickers down in the description box below, too. Very waterproof, awesome stickers. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.